Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I extend a warm blessing and good morning to all of you as we celebrate this Friday, the sixth week of Easter. We also honor today one of the great saints of our church, St. Rita of Cassia, who dedicated her life and her service to our Heavenly Father. Pause the sign. Who is sent to the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. He came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Raise up, we pray, the author of our salvation, who is seated at your right hand, so that when our Savior comes again in majesty, those that you have given new birth and baptism may be clothed with blessed immortality. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But then Gallio was a proconsul of Achaia. The Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing the people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime of malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of the Jews, but since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sothenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Censoria, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God, God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the most high, the awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God, God is king, king of all the earth. He brings people under us nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God, God is, is king, king of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our king, sing praise. God, God is king, king of all the earth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Christ had suffered and rose from the dead, and 
and so entered into his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. When she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy. For the child has been born into the world. So you also now are in anguish. But I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take away your joy from you. On that day you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. His gospel, we find Jesus about to return to his heavenly Father, and he gives us one of the really searing images of the New Testament that life here on the earth and being a Catholic Christian is going to be extremely painful and difficult. And he likens this with a metaphor saying it'll be like a woman who's going through childbirth and has this terrible pain of suffering as she gives birth. But all that is forgotten after the child is born and she has brought new life into the world. You know, all of us have suffering in our life. Some of us experience mental suffering, emotional difficulties. There's divorce, conflicts in the home, job loss. Income becomes very difficult. Uh, we have loved ones that pass away. We have a, all kinds of difficulties and problems that come into our lives. And Jesus says to us, that's part of the childbirth experience of becoming really a true Christian. It is through suffering that we come to the resurrection. So as we experience our daily sufferings and struggles, especially during this difficult time, the Lord invites us to have new life and to ask him for hope and trust because through this pain and suffering, he will bring us a joy that we will celebrate forever. We say amen to that. <clears throat> celebrate the joy of having Jesus Christ in our life. We pray for our church, its leaders, and all God's holy people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. We pray for leaders of nations, for peace and justice, harmony among all peoples and nations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are experiencing difficulties and sufferings at this time in their life, that God may bring them new hope, faith, trust, and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick. We pray for their caretakers, doctors, nurses, first responders. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us not the silence of our hearts call to mind our personal intentions and prayers. Our Father, with great joy, we celebrate your presence in our life this day. We pray that we may experience the joy of having you as center in our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our pardon and the laws of the church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. Lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It should be right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously in Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Their way was so presented, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Our mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through the rest, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, and live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
peace of the Lord be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us all each other a sign of Christ's peace. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion, if you could follow, that would be great. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Remember today, uh, three special intentions. Audrina Zapata, on the occasion of her birthday. Alice Folsom, deceased. Claudia Morales, on the occasion of her birthday as well. So prayers and blessings to all of them today. Safe, O Lord, we pray that those who have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Mighty God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.